Today I'm going to show you a little bit of a favourite. I love pancakes of any description. These are buttermilk pancakes, so we're going to use blueberries in there as well. A little bit thicker than a traditional sort of British pancake, which is quite flat or crepe. So it's a little bit thicker. So we've got bicarb, we've got baking powder, we've got sugar, we've got an egg, we've got buttermilk, and we, of course we've got those blueberries. Plain flour in the bowl. So I'm going to throw in my sugar, baking powder, bicarb, quite a lot of rising agents in this, so it will puff up. Egg, buttermilk. Now this is the reaction between the rising agent and the buttermilk, the acid and the alkali, to create the bubbles. Give this a good mix together. It comes together quite neatly. I'm going to use my good old whisk. Helps break any little lumps that you may have. Okay, that's nice and smooth. I'm going to add a few blueberries. I'll hold some back. Straight in. Give this a good mix around. Incorporate all those beautiful blueberries. You don't want to smash them up too much. And there we have our base mix. Leave that to rest just for a couple of minutes. And we'll get it straight on the frying pan. Okay, so I've come over to the hob now with my beautiful blueberry pancake mix. Got the pan set on medium. I'm just going to drop a couple of these spoonful of this gorgeous mixture into the pan and slowly cook it. Now these are light, really light, but they're beautiful. They'll take a little bit of time to cook. Don't rush them. You don't expect a massive sizzle when you put them on. It's not like bacon. Lovely for breakfast, for any time of day, to be honest. Why don't you want the sizzle? You don't want it to be too hot. If it starts sizzling, it means it's normally a little bit too hot. So you need to leave it in there. Um, but you don't want to hear a massive sizzle. It's not like you're frying bacon or doing a flatbread where you want super heat. You want it on medium and then a slow browning underneath. I mean, you flip it over, same again on the other side. They're releasing nicely from the bottom. So I'm going to flip them over. That's the sort of colour you're looking to attain. That sort of light caramel, light to medium caramel, not too dark. I'll turn the heat down a little bit just to make sure it's going to cook properly on the other side as well. It's a bit like doing an English muffin. But you've got those beautiful blueberries inside which will start popping, releasing all its flavour inside the pancake and they'll just be delicious. Are they rising as well? Well they are rising because what's in there is rising agent. You've got bicarb and baking powder so the whole thing will puff up and that's exactly what it's doing. It's almost akin to a crumpet. You know you've got that rising agent in there which is hitting the heat. You've cooked one side so there's only one way for it to go now is to open up. And that's exactly what's happening here. Mm -hmm. Looking good. I'll flip them back over briefly. And you can see, it's like cooking when you're cooking a cod or you're cooking a fish or a salmon, ideally. And you'll see the heat as the, as the cooking on one side, it starts going pink. And you flip it over and the same thing happens again. It starts going pink when it's joined together. It's carrying on cooking, so you bring it out slightly early with the fish. This, you sort of carry on. You want it to be, that's the mixture in the middle. If you touch that, it's still a bit soft. So I'm leaving it in there on this sort of, I've dropped the heat down a little bit just to make sure that it's baking all the way through. And you can feel there's a bit of resistance there now. Another minute and that should be perfect. I'm gonna flip them back. I've knocked the heat off now and that residue heat in the pan is enough to finish them off. Happy with them. This slight sizzle you're hearing is actually the blueberries. It's actually the blueberries releasing their juices and hitting the hot pan. So there you have it. Beautiful blueberry pancakes made with buttermilk and all that rising agents. 
create these really light clouds filled with gorgeous blueberries. Blueberries, pancakes, and of course, maple syrup. What could be better for breakfast, lunch, afternoon tea, dinner, any time of day? They're my blueberry pancakes with maple syrup and fresh blueberries. They smell delicious, so I'm gonna have them in a second. The whole thing about baking it is enjoyment. And if you don't like blueberries, you could add a little bit of strawberry in there, possibly raspberry as well, if you like that. But again, it's adapting it. Learn how to make these first before you change it. But above all, enjoy it and get everyone involved. If you've enjoyed this recipe, there are plenty more on Paul Hollywood Easy Bakes. Click subscribe, click like, and get baking.